Billy approves. What about Arlo? Arlo, do you approve? going to redo our water closet. So imagine yourself having to pee late at night and you have to pee in here. The dungeon. It's creepy. So we're going to uncreepify it. That's the view that you get from sitting on the loo. Your beautiful face. <laughs> special piece of board here just pops off like that and if you ever wanted to see what the uh, workings of our shower look like here you go this is the uh, level of carpentry we were working with thanks to the people that lived here before us I got a lot of You are like the equivalent of a kid that can't wait to open presents until Christmas. I can't wait to get started! So uh, Hannah went and already started. We have uh, the peel and stick tile. Again, this is a temporary solution. It's for a quick fix. Well anyways, we are putting peel and stick tile on the floor, but unlike the previous people, we're leaving a quarter inch gap in between the tiles. That way we can come down and kind of uh, grout a little bit better, uh, make it look more realistic. It, it turned out great in the other bathroom. It did. Should I go show them? Yeah. And this is what we're talking about. These are the exact same peel and stick tile that are going into the water closet right now. We have a quarter inch gap and we're going to grout in between. So really once it's all done, it looks like real tile and you can't really tell even while walking on it. So this is the kind of vibe. All right, really quick, since I have you guys here, would you do something like this? It only costs us 80 bucks and it looks really good. So let us know down in the comments below what you think and if you would ever think about doing something like this. Peel and stick tile turned out great. Did you comment? Okay, let's get back to the video. That we're going for. This is a vanity that I built a few months back. We recorded the video for you guys, but got a little anxious to finish up the bathroom and never finished recording. Sorry. Anyways. So we're doing a little teamwork. I'm painting, he's putting in the boards, and then I'm painting the boards as we go. We uh, did some math. Luckily, Hannah did the math because I am not the math person. So we found out what would be equal spacings between each of these boards. And I guess with the angle here, it looks like it gets a little bit shallower. But we have, oh God, oh geez, that's blown out. 7.4 inches so I just cut this and put up my boards accordingly ba, 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 boom and thanks to movie magic the boards are up some of them still have to be painted as you can see but that is the next step unfortunately we did not plan our materials quite that well so I do need to go to Lowe's for another run to get one more board so, okay, uh, we are grouting, and I actually had quite a long day at work. It is 8.30, but this will probably take like 15 minutes. It's really easy. All you do is uh, shove the grout in there and then wipe off the excess. This is what started it all. This is the painting that Hannah found off of Facebook Marketplace for about $15. I'm kidding, I cut this previously. I have some aluminum U-channel and I'm going to cut some 45s into this and make a custom frame because I saw frames on Amazon that were 20, 
20 by 38, which is the dimensions of this. And they're about 150 bucks. So for about $20, I'm gonna make my own frame. So, we have the painting here, we cut our tops and our sides. Now we're going to use some E6000 to weld these together because I don't have anything that welds aluminum just yet. Um, and since the actual painting itself is too thin to go into this U channel and take up all that space, we're going to put some backer board behind it so it's going to go just like that painting on top, and then these two together are actually the perfect size. And here we have it. So it's all done. Um, off camera, I spray painted the frame gold so that it would match some of the hardware that we're going to put into the bathroom. It's over in Hannah's art room right now. That way I could put the uh, wall mounting hardware on there. But I think it turned out awesome. Okay, so I'm not really saying that you guys need help putting up paintings, but here at Make It Modern, we want to give you everything. So we have the mechanism up on the wall already. There's a wire back here. There you go. You just got to make sure that it's nice and level. Putting up a painting 101. this week's episode on Make It Modern, and uh, Project Here is done, but my business here isn't, so you guys gotta go.